This book is so famous, it has a nickname. People call it Papa Rudin. So it is called Real and Complex Analysis and was written by Walter Rudin. And this particular edition, I'm pretty sure, I'm really careful with it here, pretty sure this is one of the earlier editions, um, might be the first. I think it might be, I bought this a long time ago, 1966. I don't know, I think that might be the first edition, I don't know. Um, yeah, that smells really, really good. Let's read what it says here. This is, this is a very, very famous book. Um, we're going to take a look at it here. In this book, I present an analysis course which I have taught to first-year graduate students at the University of Wisconsin since 1962. So this is a graduate-level math book, so you need to know a lot of mathematics before you can learn this, basically, but you can still try, right? Abstract integration. So that's chapter one. Positive Borel measures, LP spaces. Let me back this up here so you can see some of these more, some more of these topics that you maybe have never seen. Uh, maybe you have, you know, if you've, if you're in grad school or you went to grad school, you would take courses where you use a book like this, your first semester uh, in grad school, typically your first year at least, um, you know, you'd probably be doing some type of analysis and it might be with something uh, with this book or with a book like this. This is really cool. Look how it starts here. I like, I like, I love this. This is undoubtedly the most important function in mathematics. It is defined for every complex number z by the formula and they define it uh, as an infinite series. And the series converges absolutely for every z and converges uniformly on every bounded subset of the complex plane. So that, that's, that's pretty strong, right? So boom, that's, that is uh, your series. Thus, it is a continuous function. The absolute convergence of one shows that the computation, and they give you a little computation here, is correct. It gives the important addition formula. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We define the number e to be exp, and we shall denote we should really replace exp z by the customary short expression, right, e to the z. Yeah. So that's the notation you typically use, right? Then here's the theorem. Okay, let's turn the page. And the theorem has multiple parts. And the book does, you know, try to teach you. It's, um, it, this is a very hard book, but it does, you know, it does have stuff in it, right? So by two, it goes through and it explains, you know, some of the, some of the proofs there and stuff. Then here you have some more stuff. You keep reading, and that's it. Then you have abstract integration. That's your first, that's really where the course starts, right? And you go through here, and you have some new definitions you have to get used to, and some new terminology. And so a lot of it's going to depend on how comfortable you are um, reading math books and absorbing new math ideas. And that comes from doing a lot of math. So um, the more math you do, the easier it becomes to learn. Uh, more math, but yeah, this is uh, a classic book, um, Papa Rudin, right? Papa Rudin, it's pretty cool, if I get another whiff here, because this is, when I studied measure theory, um, we used um, the Falland book, that's also a very good book, I think it's, but none of these books are inexpensive, these measure theory, they're always like, pretty expensive. I got this one for just a few dollars a long time ago. I was really lucky. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that these are up there. I haven't, I haven't looked recently. I'll look and I will leave a link in the description to this book um, if I can find uh, a version of it. But yeah, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.